Welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be working on a storage unit. Well, storage system? Storage building. This is just one of our chest monsters. And it's getting bad. We need <laughs> we, we need to clean it up. Part of me, though, wishes that I could just throw this all in lava and go back and get the things that I needed and start organizing from the very beginning. But we're not going to do that. Even though I, I, I really want to throw it in lava. Minecraft players, we tend to have a little bit of a hoarding issue when it comes to our storages. But there are a few things that I need to address here at the beginning. Looking at all I've built so far, I feel like I'm deviating a bit from my original idea. Which naturally would happen, of course, but I'm trying to be better at conceptualizing and bringing to fruition actual concepts not just individual builds. Basically, your boy is trying to up his skills and uh, it, it's not going so well. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a struggle. Oh God, I'm falling. Originally, I thought I was gonna do a steampunk style fantasy meld when I built the flying ship here. But in truth, I was never really fully inspired by that genre. Personally, I always like to build a little bit fantasy. I kind of always include a dragon as it's very just me because I always wanted a dragon in real life. I always use at least one dragon type Pokemon and well, I just, I really want a pet dragon. It's like the perfect meld of dinosaur meets magic. So I've been scouring the internet for inspiration on how I can manage to mix all of these styles up. And I think I've found something that can help me out. I'm looking to draw inspiration from India. India is a great mixture of art and architecture that fuses myth and reality. I think is why for my storage unit, I'm going to be building something that is inspired by the architecture of India. Now, there are a lot of different styles, a lot of different variations, a lot of dialects, a lot of languages, and a lot of cultures within India. So we're just kind of taking a broad stroke. But what about the dragons? Well, typically when people think dragons, they think kind of Western mysticism and fantasy, or they go for the East Asian style. But if you actually look into it, dragons kind of exist in some variation across any and all cultures. So having dragons actually is kind of a great mix. So for the rest of this world, I think that's what I'm going to try and do is merge these styles. A little East meets West, a little North meets South. A little this, a little that, a little bada bing, bada boom. You get what I'm trying to say. But in addition, what's missing right now from my world is a little bit more fantasy and a little bit more magic. So I do have some plans to bring that in into the future of this world. Hopefully I don't die. Oh God, did I just jinx myself? So what do you say we get started? Because here, right here, is where I'm gonna put my storage building. Wow, I didn't realize we were getting so close to the island over there. We're really filling up this space. So I have extended the road a little bit. The problem when you work on an island or you are building your own terrain is that sometimes you end up making this area, oh, uh, well, you know, just a little bit flat. And I want to raise it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is kind of what they do in those Indian structures that I was talking about earlier they actually raise it on sort of a bed of stone in some places. Sometimes it's marble, sometimes sometimes it's granite. We're gonna use tough because tough is new, tough is cool, and tough is tough. So let's talk about the plan for the structure. Let's start off by building up some height. I think this is about the width I want. All right, I've put in some stairs and I decided to put in these little extra details. I love these bulbs. We changed up the pattern here in the center of it because this is of course where the grand entrance is going to be. Well, the entrances will be there, but this is the grand. Hey, look at me. I have a big tower. I've seen your AO3 account history. You know what I'm talking about. We want to make this place feel important. Like, oh, we shouldn't go there unless we're invited, except for we are important. I mean, look at my hat. It's literally a crown. We need to encapsulate this place with a fence, but not just any fence. An expensive, over-the-top, 
very tall fence because it is very important and I am very important and tall fences mean very important things. Look at this recipe. Bulb. What? That's expensive. I mean, at least you get four in return, but dang. Brother, ugh, that's a lot of material. Thankfully, we have little cheaty places such as the trial chambers where you can get all of these wax cupper, cupper, wax cupper burbs for free. Free.99. Now, unfortunately, I do need to strip these bad boys because they are fully waxed. And while I do enjoy things that are waxed, Unfortunately for this, we don't need them in this state. So now we gotta do something really satisfying. Banger. I need to actually go to the nether because I need basalt, like a lot of it. So let's go gather that. Why do it manually when we can do a farm? Well, kind of a farm. Oh, that does do a bit of flashing light. What if we did gamma? Does that help? Okay, that's a little bit better so we don't get so many flashing lights. All right, let's see how much we've got. Wow. Well, damn. I think that should be more than enough. Okay, and there it is. Yeah, I'm digging this. It's large, it's charged, it's don't f with me kind of fence. I think I am gonna swap out some of these wall pieces for like uh, deep slate cobblestone and maybe some mossy cobblestone. That way it looks sort of like, oh, over the years it's kind of grimed up a little bit and the fence has kind of seen some wear and tear, especially being by the ocean. I mean, it is a fantasy world and we can do whatever the hell we want. We just really wanna make it pretty. You know, just wanna make it pretty. But right now we're just a little bit of a, a rough draft mode, right? And I like it. I was gonna light up the bulbs, but honestly, I really just like them as a decoration. An expensive decoration, but a pretty decoration nonetheless. I have gone ahead and I have laid out the general shape for the base of the building. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, it's a square. Amazing. Thank you. Just you wait. It's not going to be a square. Well, it's a little square-ish, but it's not a... You know what? Just, just wait and see. All right, I think I'm going to break this next part up into three sections. One, we are going to do the exterior of the building. It's big and it's a lot of resources because I don't do simple. And then for the second part, I want to tackle the inside of the building. Now, I know everyone likes it when people do fancy storage units, but let's be honest here. I tend to break those, so I think I'm going to go for the more traditional yet organized... <laughs> We'll see how long that lasts. Organized style of storage system. And then I think for the final part is we will tackle the gardens on the exterior of this build. So you guys better be strapping in, eating your snacks or your dinner or your lunch. What you having? What you having? Are you having anything good? Please tell me. I need to go to the store and I need ideas. In order to get all of the materials that I need for this building, uh, I needed to go destroy the mesa. And that's exactly what I did. I gathered thousands of terracotta blocks and brought them home to start this build. And you'll see that I'm sticking to a somewhat monochromatic palette for this structure. And that's because I'm trying out a different kind of build technique. I'm focusing on shadows rather than traditional textures. And to be honest, I'm really liking the way that it's turning out. I'm out here grabbing grass. Hmm. Hmm. This seems like a trap. This world gets more skeleton horses than I have in any other world. Probably in the last like eight years of playing Minecraft combined. All right. Can we save them? I want the horses. I don't want the I don't want you. Okay, one horse saved. Two horse saved. <gasps> no! 
Uh, stupid skeletons. Okay. Well, three out of four ain't bad, right? You know, I think I'm probably at this point going to have to just make a stables for them. We have so many of them. I feel like, I feel like you guys need a place to live. Maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode is a skeleton horse barn. <laughs> it's done. No, I'm <laughs> it's completed. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. It looks so completed. It's totally done. Yep. Totally done. Totally done. Oh wait, I have the Gamma Mod on. There, this is what it looks like without the Gamma Mod. Gamma Mod is great for content creation for allowing your viewers to see, but it's so nice to look at it like as a regular thing. But this is what it looks like from the outside. Now I'm gonna jump up here. Ow. Oh, I didn't hit it. I just said, Never mind. There's the owl. I just preemptively said it. So we've got one yard on this side, one yard going in on this side. I am gonna add the fence to that. We are making it symmetrical after all. Uh, as you can see, the inside up here doesn't have anything in it yet. And except for this really cool like ceiling pattern that I was playing around with. And the reason why it doesn't have anything here is, I don't know what to put here. Straight up, I have no idea what to put in this room. So if you have any ideas, maybe leave them down in the comment section because I gotta I gotta ponder about what that could actually house for me. Down here though is where the storage is actually going to take place. I oh, we're just gonna land here real quick. Now, during the process of building this, I actually uh, had a wrist injury. So I am kind of nursing that and also trying to prevent some carpal tunnel syndrome that I have been kind of fending off for a long time. Because when you play at your computer for a long time and you're as old as I am, which you, you don't ask about my age, just if you need to know, yes, I do remember when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Yes, I do remember when the Big Bang happened. Yes, I was there for the birth of the sun. Yes, I did, in fact, build the moon out of cheese. That's me. That's my Minecraft build. Let's turn on the gamma. Boop. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. You're like, wow, that's so cool and boring and plain and nothing to it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's... Uh-huh. Yep. It's basically a giant room to do this. Oh, God. Um, hello, and boop, oh, he lived. So this is going to be the storage room. This is where we're going to house all of the extra crap that I will forget that I have. Welcome to the flower dye shop. All right, I've got all the supplies that I need in my inventory and in these boxes. So what do you say we lay this floor? I wish I could lie to you and say that this was fun to do, but it wasn't. You can see there was like a few times, maybe it made it into the time lapse, depending on where I put the camera. But over here, <laughs> I got turned around and I started placing this way. Eh, it kind of ruined the shot, but you know what? That's all right. It's done. Remember what I said? I wanted to start using more color because I typically just don't use color in this way. So if we pop into free cam, you can see this really cool kind of traditional style pattern with the lights in the floor, which is really important because how do you light this space? Well, I... I mean, you'll see how I'm going to light the space, but it's going to be kind of tricky. I think over here we're going to have our first storage area and our second one will be here. And then over here will be the exit into the gardens. Okay. I think I have an idea of what I want to do for the stairs. Let's bring in some color with this high. It's high fey, right? Warp stem. High fey is the fungus. I always forget which is which. Of course, just a couple short there. Of 
there, that's looking a little better. I've just noticed a glaring mistake on my part. Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. I did copper on that side and I did not do copper on that side. Well, shoot, now I have to fix that. So what do you say we do a quick little spin? And just like that, we have completed it. This took me days to do. Doing this with an injured wrist is <laughs> not ideal to say the least, but it has come out phenomenally. Also doing this upside down, don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. Even on scaffolding, don't recommend it. Not fun, zero stars. But the end result, I love. Now, because we are on 1.21, I almost said 1.211, yeah, that's wrong. Because we're in the new update and we have things like the trial chambers, you see my helmet? It's got the kind of swirl effect to it from the, from the cyclone dude. Well, the breeze, that's his name. Well, I wanted to include that here in the temple storage room. So if you look on the ceiling, we have some wind swirls. We also have these interpretations of the breeze itself. So you see it kind of resembles like a swirl, like the little heads up on top. Just another way to tie in the new update to the actual storage room. Now, these are a ton of chests. I don't think I will ever, ever fill them up. But who knows? You know, maybe. Not likely. Maybe. Man, I am loving the way that this looks, especially as the sun sets. I did not do a whole lot of texturing for this build. Instead, I tried to use shadows to actually create the texture and the depth instead. And I think, what? Oh, it's phantoms. Well, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I really tried to use shadows to kind of provide the depth rather than rely solely on color. We could see a few elements of color kind of creating some depth here, but I really tried a different technique and I think it honestly kind of came out cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right, should we turn on the shaders? Oh, wow, that's so cool. That looks so cool, man. And then also up here, I'm gonna go in free camera mode we can have a little bit of a statue. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put there yet, but there will be something there and it will be fabulous, darling, fabulous. So if you have any ideas for a statue that could go there, make sure to leave it down in the comment section. So now it is time to focus on the outside. This is where those beautiful gardens that surround these kinds of temples will be. And at the end over there, I think I wanna try, like I said earlier in the episode, try and reincorporate some of the magical elements that this world is currently missing. All right, I've got everything prepared. How about we jump into one final time lapse and wrap this project up? Let's go. week later it is complete yeah it took me a little extra time doc was like you need to if you're gonna work you need to do it in small bursts so we had to build in small 30 minute sections followed by lots of stretching and lots of resting so i apologize in advance that the episode is a little delayed because of this wrist injury but we're healing we're getting better i'm hopeful and i have pain medicine so 
all good. Now, I wanted a dramatic entrance to this storage area, and I think I got it. Check out how it feels when you walk down this path, and it just comes into view. You've got the balloons in the background, the hotel, the trees, the palm trees, scaffolding I apparently forgot to take down, and it comes upon this gigantic, gigantic storage facility. And inside is this gorgeous, gorgeous tile work. Now, I said I wanted to add more magic into this world earlier in the episode. And I have done that by adding this cool mystical crystal, which is floating in between these gates right here. Now, these arches are reminiscent of the ones that are in the garden over there. And I actually made some changes to them because I made those before the update came out. But I really, really like the tough blocks and I think they add a lot of contrast and color. This crystal is gonna have some lore and the portal it's floating over is going to relate to something that's gonna come in another episode. That's right, I'm foreshadowing. So you're going to want to make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, let me show you where this build truly shines. Look at that. The monochromatic palette really does come together to create these really interesting moments of detail in a very, actually relatively easy way. You don't have to put a lot of things in order to create contrast. Sometimes all you need is shadows, and that, that does that. I like that. I am so thrilled because this build was thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks, and it took me nearly two and a half weeks to do. That's it, my friends. That's it for today's episode. If you could, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. We do a variety of different things here, but Minecraft isn't always going to be a staple. And I am going to end it there. I'm going to go rest my wrist. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.